I got it. I got a picture. I'm getting emails from the rapidly shrinking yet still stubbornly obtuse contingent of Spider-Man fanboys and fangirls blithely insisting he did a wonderful thing, shutting down a drug lab run by a delightful fellow whose street name seems to be, wait for it, Tombstone. Now, I'm glad he's behind bars, but do you know how Spider-Man shut this operation down? by setting it on fire. Do you know what drug labs do when you set them on fire? They explode! Spider-Man could have taken out the entire block with his criminally reckless grandstanding. Fortunately, New York's bravest, our firefighters, contained the blaze because that's their job. And if Spider-Man had any sense, he'd have turned over whatever information he had on Tombstone to the police and let New York's finest do their job! But no, he thought the best way to handle drug dealing is with arson! Fly away. And that's that. Every crash tower in the city's now repaired. Pretty good work, right? Pretty good, yeah. Good enough that maybe you'd let a certain someone celebrate with us? <sighs> Fine, but make it quick. The odds were long, the danger close. But between Spider Cop's reckless intuition and the Chief's determined planning, they got the job done. Aw, that's kind of sweet. A pairing of opposites. Like peanut butter and chocolate. Or breakfast for dinner. The two work together. And we're done. Talk to you later, Spider Cop. She's coming around, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I <laughs> love these names. Is Sandra happy to see them back? Well, uh... Got eyes on Spider-Man! Yuri, I'm looking at a fist site where there's a lot of people, but not much work getting done. That you can see. They're keeping it under wraps. I'll turn over some rocks. Oh, you just made a big mm. Oh, crap! Look out! Uh. Late comers! 
That's a lot of tardy slips I'm gonna have to write. does manage to get stuff you don't see outside the military. That needs to stay off the streets by any means necessary. Reinforcements! You know there's different types of reinforcing. You couldn't just say great job a lot. Why won't you die? Bro, this is sticky. Boss is sick and tired of you. So am I. Join your boss in jail! guys and his weapons all wrapped up like Christmas morning. Well, you've got a red suit, so you're close enough to Santa Claus for me. Thanks. Nothing in the law. <laughs> I love these names. Is Sandra happy to see them back? Well, uh, actually, she's not. So 
much for the opening act. Main events inside. Let's dive right in. MJ, I'm at the fourth place on your list. They're not even trying to pretend they're legit. It's just sad when criminals don't take pride in their work anymore. I'll see what I can find out. Let's play the quiet game. I know, I should have called first. Laptops out of guns. So it's an armory? Not for long. I'm about to get some payback for Jeff Davis, as everyone else is killed at City Hall. More of them! Good! I meant to ask you, how do you deal with sneezing in your mask? Big problem for me! People around here work.
stockbrokers! Oh, you just noticed the mess! Set of guns. So it's an armory? Not for long. I'm about to get some payback for Jeff Davis and everyone else who killed at City Hall. MJ, everything's quiet here now. You didn't get too carried away, did you? What they did was horrible, but... but you're not.
Imagine this. A stray shopping cart dents your car. You take it to the auto body shop, only that shop is a front for a drug lord called Tombstone, and he and Spider-Man have decided to have a power struggle at that precise moment. Sir, tell us the rest. I, I start to go in and I see Spider-Man fighting this... That would be one Lonnie Lincoln, A.K. A.A. Tombstone. Did it seem they were fighting over drug profits or merchandise? I understand there's talk of a new drug that turns its users into zombies. I don't know what it was about. I got my ass out of there. Sir, I understand you've been through a lot, but please refrain from using that kind of language. This is a family show. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm glad I split, because pretty soon, the cops and firefighters are there. Ah, the real heroes. What a relief. I think we can all use a happy ending. I thought this was a family show. Jared, get rid of him! Home, buddy. Officers needed to assist civilians trapped in their cars after a crash. Incident was reported near Sugar Hill. Over. Nasty car wreck down there. People might be hurt.
working during the infiltration. Captain, these Sable guys look like they forced all the residents out of a building so they could occupy it themselves. And locked up the ones who objected. Okay, that I can get something done about. But I need victims to come forward. I'll get the people out and have them file reports with the police. Take a break, you earned it! Very sleepy. We need a medic. Trust me, it's less painful this way.
Spider-Man. I confirmed your suspicions. People displaced from the residences are staying in shelters or on the street. I know what it's like not to have anywhere to stay. It's a good thing these Sable agents have body armor, because I just might lose my temper. when they're incapacitated. Downtime. Trolling, but I do have notes. When there was a 
only one set of footprints, that's when I webbed you up. not to have anywhere to stay. It's a good thing these Sable Agents have body armor, because I just might lose my temper.
for private security, you guys aren't very private. That took longer than it should have. Captain, the people that were locked up are headed back to their homes. Good. And I finally convinced the mayor's office that making constituents homeless was not good for his poll numbers, so they won't be pulling that stun again. Spider-Man, good news. The mayor finally cracked the whip on Sable International. No more locking up New Yorkers without due process of law. Guess they figured out it was a PR disaster. For once, we got a clean win. Well, not quite. I hear rank-and-file Sable agents blame you for stopping the gravy train. They'll be gunning for you even harder now, and no one's going to stop them. By now, I think it freaked me out more if nobody was gunning for me. Let them come. I'll be ready.
Not long ago, the demons committed another heinous act of terrorism when they took a tour bus and all of its occupants hostage. Sleep it off. Yuri, this whole street's been taken over by Riker's inmates. We've had calls from people who are afraid to leave their buildings. Tell them to stay inside a little longer. There's gonna be some street cleaning. I literally didn't see that coming. What's that? opens up and everyone's rushing to take it. Felt that one, didn't you? Typical New York, 
A vacancy opens up and everyone's rushing to take it. what I heard. They want to take one over. They'll be a lot easier to deal with on the street, without hostages. I'm working on it. Talk to you soon. Yes.
Someone needs a nap. Vacancy opens up and everyone's rushing to take it. What I heard. They want to take one over. They'll be a lot easier to deal with on the street without hostages. I'm working on it. Talk to you soon.
Captain, the block's quiet. Everyone in an orange jumpsuit is down for the count. Great job. If they'd gotten into a residential building, they'd have done a lot of damage. I need a minute! Look, I know you've been hacking into our crime system towers. Wasn't me. I mean, what towers? I don't mind. In fact, I need your help. I think someone's jamming the system, and they must be using multiple jammers to cover the full frequency range. Could you take a look? If you help, I promise I won't tell anyone you're hacking us. I prefer to call it sharing, but sure. The jammers emit a signal I can detect. Just need to swing through the financial district and hunt for a signal. Found a signal. Just need to follow it. Any jamming devices would only be effective atop tall buildings. The closer I am to the jammer, the stronger the signal gets. Fisk's men. This is my shock face. Gotta take out the jamming device. Shoddy workmanship. I just took out a jamming device. That do anything? No, but like I said, there's probably a bunch of them. Makes sense. I'll track them down. I wonder if Fisk's men had anything to do with the system. Aw, the jamming party and didn't invite me. Got eyes on Spider-Man.
Just need to get rid of the jammer. I smashed the jammer. This was all for... Sometimes breaking stuff is the answer. And it's fun, too. Spider-Man, it's working. I'm starting to get a weak signal. It's garbled, but I picked up something about this and outfit. This was the kingpin of crime, but he didn't deal in knockoff fashion. The sooner the system is fixed, the sooner we know what they're planning. Only one jammer left. Found you. Better see what's oh, sorry. Did I startle you? Now I just need to wreck the jammer. Okay, that's the last of them. The system should be back online. Spider-Man, the crime system's working again. Great. Any more info on Fisk's men or those outfits? No, but the system's reporting unauthorized activity down by the docks. I'm sending coordinates now. I'll check it out. Gotta get to the docks before they escape. for a small army. Whatever they're planning to do with those, it's nothing good. Gotta find out what those guns are for. Let's play the quiet game. I get the uniform line. Why do you so much extra muscle? Because I'll get it for you. Now maybe I can figure out what's going on. Guns, prison guard uniforms, and spoofed ID cards. They were planning to bust Fisk out of the raft. Sorry to spoil your prison break, guys. Looks like New York's finest have it from here. Everything's clear on my end, too. Thanks for restoring the system, Spider-Man. I won't tell anyone you're piggybacking on it, but if you get caught, you're on your own. I have no idea what you're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to delete my selfies from the crime system servers.
one of Howard's pigeons. Now, friends, you know I'm always open to differing points of view. So after a police officer called me out on social media for being too hard on Spider-Man, and it went viral and people just wouldn't shut up about it, I agreed to a debate. Officer, welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so, uh, so me and my guys were in a shootout with some desperate characters who had nothing to lose. I mean, they didn't care if we all lived in... Died. And somebody would have, trust me, if Spider-Man hadn't helped him. All right, fair enough. I'm not saying he never does anything good. I'm saying he causes more problems than he solves. You had to go to the Academy, right? Be thoroughly trained? You have rules to follow? Sure, but he seems to know what he's doing, too. It worked out for the best this time. Next time, how do we know Spider-Man won't cause the deaths of all concern? Well, he never has before, has he? I believe we'll just have to agree to disagree. Thank you for your service. Goodbye! Those Sable guys are way too rough. Maybe I should step in. Yeah, I'll step in. Guys! It's I love New York, not I thug New York! Better jump in and save that guy.
And Spidey takes the silver in the crazy Psycho Olympics. Another camera. Gotta be Black Cat. Are you jealous I'm visiting my other man? I hope so. But you should know, bad boys aren't my type. Aha. Why are you doing this, Felicia? You know I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> 